If you have a green thumb and organic farming has been tugging at your heartstrings, you should consider what this intrepid organic gardener is doing. Land ownership is not required. I'm Kathy Harajian. I'm here at Bird of the Hand Orchard slash farm. This is a newly organically certified orchard in Massachusetts. It's in Sterling, Massachusetts in Worcester County. It's in the center of the state. And we're working with the state leasing this property to grow organic apples. As you can see way out in the distance, there are the apple trees. There's about 550 of them and we hope to get uh, eventually a few bushels per tree and sell them at the local food markets. My sister and I run this farm and we lease the property from the state of Massachusetts. It is a designated wetland protected area uh, for the watershed of the, of the Quabbin Reservoir. It's got water running on the top, over the top of the property. It was cleared originally and planted with apple trees about 20 years ago. Well, here we have quite a few varieties of trees. This row is all heirloom trees. Um, up here, these are on their third year of being pruned. You can see some points of pruning. Here's a little animal damage. Uh, the winter animals are killing, are eating the bark off of young branches way up here. Here, here are these uprights are the new growth. They have a nice tip bud on them. And the trees appear to be thriving after having been covered with the bittersweet that totally enveloped them for five years. These trees are pruned to be an open vase where the tree will spread out. They don't really have a particular central leader. They're more pruned to be open. And as the apples come and weigh the branches down, they'll be easy to harvest the apples. You know, that tree tasted really good. I gotta tell you, I'm a porcupine and that dog is real big. I better get out of here before he comes over here and I gotta quill him. We do have a lot of wildlife. We've had a bear mother with her three cubs that totally invaded the honey hive that we had, so you really can't bring a bee colony here with any ease. So you have to plant plants here that are going to provide a nectarary for insects that would pollinate the trees. By becoming an organic gardener and leasing land such as this abandoned orchard, you can positively impact yourself financially and your community at large by preserving the soils, keeping the groundwater clean, and providing more organic produce for your local markets.